Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to do a quick little video showcasing how we can set up our first GitHub project. So, just to kind of demonstrate how it would work, I first, inside IntelliJ, created a basic Java project. As we can see here, we have some basic files, we have an IDE folder, which is kind of like set up by IntelliJ, so we don't really want to share that with anyone. We have the source folder containing our main, like, Java functionality. We would have a gitignore file which is actually very interesting because it's a file which is then going to be used by GitHub when we create our GitHub repository. And GitHub then understands that all the files, or like the folders, they find inside our gitignore file, which is a file named .gitignore, will not be put onto GitHub. So this is the way to have something that would be local. For example, the .ide, which is just the setup of how my IDE is for this specific project, is not something I would want to share as it's not really relevant to anyone else. But we are now here in the terminal, and I'm going to be doing it all from the terminal, as I think it's actually easier than most of the graphical user interface tools. And in the long run, I think it's a pretty good practice to understand and know how it works. So obviously, this also requires that you already have Git installed on your computer. But otherwise, I'm here in my random project. As mentioned, we have these files, mainly our IDE, source, gitignore, and our XML, which is our Waven setup. So then actually create a new GitHub project, because we need the actual project to be hosted somewhere, like where Git is just a tool to handle the version control. GitHub is the actual place where we can be using Git to kind of like save our files. So on GitHub, over then over here in the top right hand corner, create a new repository. And just for the sake of it, let's call it random project. I'm not going to add a description. You could if you want. I'm just going to make it public. You can make it private. It doesn't matter too much in this case. Of course, if it's public, anyone can see it. And if it's private, only you can see it. And I'm not going to add anything else. It also kind of tells us how to get ignored, but because I made a setup from IntelliJ, it already had a get ignore file. Or at any point, you can simply just create a file called git.gitignore before connecting to GitHub, and it will work as well. I will then simply from in here create our new repository. GitHub then actually guide us to tell us what to do, and I'm going to be doing most of it, not all of it. And also worth noting, if it's the very first time you actually try to create a GitHub project, you might also be kind of prompted to connect to GitHub and you would need to set up some kind of like connection. But there are a bunch of guides out there, especially GitHub provides some pretty good guides of how you can set up like a private public key and you would have to connect to GitHub to set up like a, an established connection. But let's just assume you already are connected to GitHub. We would then simply follow most of these. Like first of all, they would add a readme. I don't really like to do that necessarily. I would do it later on if needed, but get in it. So inside my project folder, I would first do git init, which is then gonna actually create a .git file, so a hidden folder. And inside this hidden folder is then kind of like gonna be containing all the GitHub and the Git stuff. We then need to add some files. So in our case, I would do git add dot, so add everything from my current position to GitHub that is not git ignored. And GitHub would then simply just have us committed. So the general process of GitHub or Git in general is that you add files, you commit files, and you push files. And just to showcase, I can do git status. And we can then see all the files committed. And if we then do just a next step, we would see we just normally they would just add like a readme file. It doesn't just push the readme file, so that's the only part of your repository. I just added everything. We then do git commit with a message, so git commit dash m, and then a string message, first commit. That's fine. And we can then do git branch. So we would kind of like create a branch where we're going to push this stuff and call it main. We then git remote add. So we kind of connect our like local repository to the repository on GitHub. So git remote at origin, the position of our repository. Again, if you're not already kind of like connected to GitHub, you're going to have problems at this stage. And then at the end, I'm just simply going to push. We can now do git status again. We can see we have nothing to commit because we already committed. And we then push it. It will take a few seconds. And now if we go in here and reload our project, we can see the file is committed. And actually the git ignore file is probably not perfect because we actually 
Okay, we push the .id file, but we just hide some of the things inside. You could probably just get ignore the entire file, but yeah, that's not too important. But that is the general concept of how you would create your first GitHub repository using Git. And as you can see, it's relatively simple because we're more or less just following the guide provided by GitHub. And then in my next video, I'll kind of go through in a bit more slow pace, more or less the same thing we did, but how we can actually add things along the way to our GitHub repository. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how you set up your first GitHub project, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful 